Hello again. Welcome back to Ancient Rock Art. And uh, this time I saw something uh, like in the rock art that I found, right? And now I saw this like, um, you know, like, who was it? The Archaeologist University of Aberdeen. They made a new discovery. And it is Tap Onoth. Aberdeenshire, ancient hill fort, ancient hill fort, and I thought, do you know what, I've seen that somewhere before, and like in my old videos, when I first got them, I thought it was a tool where you put your hand in, it fits right in your hand, you use it as a hammer tool, but you keep seeing different things on these things. Then when I saw the ancient hill thing, I sort of looked at it and thought that I've seen that I've seen that in my rock art, my ancient rock art. And then I looked at it and I go, yeah, that looks similar. But trying to find a photo that looks similar is not really easy. And you know, you've got all this blah blah blah, don't do that, not do, do this, you know. But how are you supposed to tell people? Hmm? How are you supposed to tell people that you've got something that somebody has carved it into a stone thousands of years ago? Now, if you have a look at one of my other videos, and it's the rock map, it shows us where is, they've left East Africa and moved across Europe and Russia, you know, Russia, Europe, and to England. And it's got little notches in it to say where they landed, which the little tiny notches say land, which was up Scotland. So he traveled, more likely up there, they know what's going on, or, you know, word gets around. And they carved these things because they never had cameras or nothing, okay? So they chop them out of stone and go, this is what I saw on the way. Now, I saw this and I thought, that really looks the same. You know, the up-to-date one, no, 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 no. But then you go back to, hmm, picture, you know, no, you can't. So... Oh, so you've even got writing round there. So, where have we got to? So, yeah, the rock map shows where they cut across. And it was in Scotland. And I found these down in the south. But he puts little chips in there and found it down the south. So, Tapo North, Aberdeenshire, Ancient Hillfort, Archaeologist, University of Aberdeen, discovered more about it. Now, the uncanny thing I've got is... I'm allowed to do this, I don't know. No, I'm thick, so I ain't got one exam in my life. Now, I don't know. Now, if I can line this up, because I see the writing, they said there's, I read something, there's about they had writing or posts, or writing or things in there. See that? and get in there and if I can line up see you got these bits here and here yeah and you got the writing down here right so I've got to line this up see writing writing line this up move that up whoever carved this was pretty clever now let's get that in the picture did I do that right writing writing see a notch notch in there and this is going back, this was taken somewhere in 2010, maybe a little bit more. You have to look it up. But there's quite a resemblance in that. What do you think? If someone carved that, and he didn't have an helicopter or nothing. And so, take a look at that, and then like... You know, compare it to 
but you're allowed to see on the internet about it. It's like you've got the hill. It looks even like that, like there's got a pathway down there. They've got it. Where, where is it? Down here. Is there a little pathway? Can you see it in the light? It's chipped in. It's down here somewhere. Down here and it cuts across. It looks like they find their way down. Because it goes down the fields. Quite uncanny. Now you've got to look it up, these other pictures, to see how this person carved this and it's like it. But it's not the up to date one, you've got to think. This man carved loads of things. If you have a look at ancient rock art, you'll see loads of portable rock art carvings. There you're done. So I thought I'd do this because I saw that this looks very similar to what they say. And this, what I come across, I had to show you. It's the only way to get it out to you. You know, they say it's got writing down here. It's got writing down here. I don't know if it's too close. I always put the camera too close. Or oh, move too fast. Because I get excited. And, uh, so, see what you can find out. See what you think. Quite uncanny, really, isn't it? See, portable rock art, thousands of years ago, they did carve it so people could see what they have seen on their travels. Oh, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you again sometime. Good night and goodbye.